something with some, you know, Kago. So you don't have to be like exact. Just kind of let us get the vibes for uh, what these are saying. Hi, wakarimashita. Um, waru forestaru kyoshaku sama hi k. Um, so the uh the uh, Dutch. Where yeah. ore for um waira waira forest taru hi k hi k is maybe a kind of like deer so deer deer duchess or dutch dutch or lord whatever. Um, we eat a foresta. I uh, sui sui saikin. Well, metto no Marioku ga kyo kyo he ni gen sho shite iru toi yu shirase. Oh, okay. Chi. Chi. Ah, uh, she. Mm, forgot this one. Jitsu. 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 Ka. Kado. Uka. Dare ka. Meru. Tame ni. Weru meto ni. Hi. So this word over here you read as Q Han, I think. It's Gekigen. Um Gekigen. And this does look like Dare. Dare and that kanji are super similar. Um but this word over here is Tashikameru. Tashikameru. Money, the word for um suddenly reduce it's deck again. Hi, um like a dramatic it doesn't actually have reduce in there because that would be gen. So um geki gen was a dramatic decrease. So q geki is just dramatically. You geki. You get sudden. My money sudden. Yeah, sudden so and dramatic. Sudden dramatic. Um Q Geki Q Geki Ken Show Shite Iru To Yu Shira Shira Se. Uh, so he's saying, I came to know recently that the magical power of Werumeto has sudden and drastically reduced. Uh, in the true, the she seki kado such the the cause of the issue the true when when do you think he uchi um sorry should I say uchi uh should I say when do you think he was informed of this he came to know of this sui saikin in recent time hi perfect so that first half and that the ji jitsu another word the true Then we have kadoka. Kadoka is not a word we see often. Um, normally we've just been seeing ka on its own. Um, they're the same word, but the difference is just a grammatical thing. Kadoka shows up when the thing before ka is not negative, the better question, and does not have a question word like nani. So on those three, you get ka, like um. Doko ka wakarimasu. Uh, so which is where it is, I know, type of idea. Versus um, kado ka, 
be whether or not, basically. The truth. Mm. Right. Uh, in order for me to re to uh, investigate whether or not this is true. Right. Uh, ni modoru koto. I've come to return to Wedomet Itashimasta. You you already translated. <laughs> Hi. I've come to return to Wedometo. Yeah. Wedometo. He's just making it sound very polite, right? He's messaging Hi. um the Duchess. Da. Hi. Um and then this one is the word for exile, which mm -hmm. is seki. Good guess. Tui um ho. Tui ho. Sui ho. Sui ho. Sui sui. Sui ho go. Sui ho. Sui ho, and then go at the end. I personally think it's sui ho ato, but it could be sui ho go. I don't know. Sui ho ato. I think you're right, mommy. Sui ho ato. Sui ho ato no ru ruro no mi hibi hibi o hete modota kono me ni. Usuta, I'm guessing like he he come to the middle. Hmm? Usu, usuta, usuta. 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 So to be to he reflected upon no reflected. It reflected in my eyes. Hi. Usuta nova, suitai si, are, are wate, are wate ta, machi no sugata de shita. Good guess. So this is not are a noun. This is from areru, and <laughs> they made a compound verb with um hateru. So it's are hateru rather than being are. And then wa. So are hateru um, doesn't pop up here, but hateru is to end as a verb. So we have a compound verb here, which basically means to be um, violently perished. Are hateru. Violently perish. So ha ha. Um... Wow. So this one comes from ha. Hateru come from right. the the dictionary form, which is is it to pull or to, is it too long for? Uh, no, uh, hate hate hateru is a verb that means to perish, to end. It's like a verb on its own. Um, and areru, um, is a verb that means to be rough or violent, or to fall in like disarray or something like that. And they've combined it together to mean like a violent, like to be in ruins kind of meaning. So the town that was the the, the town that came into ruin. Mm -hmm. Um and before that it was Sui Tai Shi. Uh so Sui Tai Suru. And so suitai is a decline. It's in decay. Um, so it was in decay and it's come to violent ruin. Right. Uh, machi no sukata de. It was the shape of the town or the, uh, the the shape of the town or maybe the the condition of the town uh, had came to be. So sita. Um. So that's the end of that clause. The first clause said that. Um. 
after exile, Roru, Roru no Hibio, I returned to the wandering days. Uh, ah, head, head. so what's what's confused? This is very. This is a very confusing sentence. Um, the thing is that we have two different subjects here: the subject from the first clause and the subject of the second clause, and there's no comma separating them. Um, it's I. Um, well, I guess I is it's it. Um, so if it's our first verb here is hette in te form. And it'd be easier if there was a common here, I think. But um, it's a hette. Hibio hette. What does that mean? Do you know? So let's see. Okay. Hibi, hibio, hibio. Hibio. The days, the days of wanderings. Um, during the days where I was wandering, right? Basically, hette during means time. to pass as in time pass. So after the days of exile of me wandering, basically. Um, so basically he basically saying he wandered for a while. After that, he modotat. Hete. Modotta kono me ni. So I return to so returning was mentioned in the last sentence, which was "wurumet ni modoru koto ni itashimashita." So this "me" is a it's a it's a stand-in for mm. um this "me ni" is the standing for the it's kind of like a pronoun, isn't it, Wani? The pronoun is "no" in the sentence. This is the pronoun "no." Kono me ni utsutta no wa me is would be literally translated as me in English in the sentence though to some extent this is like a saying I guess but you would literally say me in English to convey the same meaning here but the pronoun is no this is a relative clause describing no the pronoun um which the pronoun no is a filler word for machi no sugata Machi no sugata. Right. So yeah. um the place that I've returned to and that it, it reflected upon my eyes. Hi, exactly. So the thing reflected in my eyes was what? Was a degenerated mm -hmm. and that it was it came to violent ruin, the shape of this town. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, yoruto kohai wa marioku ga gensho tsuru machi ni toki. Oh no, this is not toki. This is um special right. and possess possession. So I toku. think you doesn't mean possession. What does you mean? Tokuyu? It does mean possession, you're right. Tokuyu? Oh yeah, it's a characteristic. It's a characteristic. So it's it's that which is particular to this town. Mm. No gensho to no ko to. So gensho. What is he saying here? He's saying that the phenomenon. Um, tonokuto. I would kind of start with um, bungen ni yoruto. Bungen ni yoruto. Bungen. Bungen ni. So bungen ni. What does this mean? So. Do you know what bun means? That's the most important part of the sentence. Bun is is um. um it's a character of it's 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 a uh, like a writing yeah like a it is sentences 
um so Bungin is um some kind of literature specifically in like a thesis kind of way I believe yeah like reference books reference so Niyoru to um so he do something with a reference book Hi. Niyoru Niyoruto is basically according to. So he looked at the rep at some literature references and he according to that he comes to the second piece of information, which is Kohai wa blah blah blah. Uh so now we have Kohai, which is uh, referring to what is this Kohai? Kohai here is ruin or this this Hai. devastation. This devastation is um Marioku ga gensho suru machi ni. Um so this devastation is is a phenomenon that is particular to the town when it had lost or it had lost its magical power. Right. Kind of more like losing in a way, which is losing. really weird. But yeah, sure. losing in English has like a will connotation. Like it's not lost. It is in the process of being lost. Um, right. So, so here true. is, this is a devastation that is a, a signage. Right. A, 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 a particular a peculiarities of a city that is experiencing ongoing losses of magical power or draining of magical power. To no koto. And he's 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 summarizing it by saying to no koto. Hi, this hi, is hi, what... hi. Yeah, that's basically how the niyoruto is being ended. According to Blink, this is what it says. So perfect. Yeah. Hi. Dare mo sumanaku nata o kuno ie ie wa kuchi kuchi kake tori ni hotondo hito no sugata wa naku hito o Mikakeru Kotoga Atemo Seki ga Gen Shirare Masen Kanjirare Masen Henji Ka 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 Chi Kanji Kanji like like in the in the word Kanjiru to feel. Hi. So here, what is it saying here? It's saying that anyone who's sumanak uh, not everyone who'd come not to be living in the houses. Okay, so the houses where um there was a lot of uh vacancy. Hi. Basically, a lot of houses that it came to me, no one was living in them. Um, they these houses were chiku, where ku, kuchi, kuchi kakeru, uh, kuchi kakeru. So, what does this mean? Ku kuchi comes from the word that means to rot, and kakeru is like to start, so it's like rotten, kind of crumbling, kind of idea. So crumbling, they came to be crumb. They came to be uh, decrepit. Crumbling. Decrepit. She mm -hmm. it. Came to be. Came to be decrepit. Tori new hotondo. And through this hotondo, ito hotondo is an adverb. Is not hey. describing a sort of a. It's hardly the case, like it's barely. Right. Hotondo hito no sukata. 
方はなく、so、there's, not a, there's, not a, there's not a sign of humans. There's hardly a sign of, of human, human、はい、being. Where?、Um, tori, to, tori ni. I'm guessing on the streets, right?、はい、the street, it's basically the no people on the streets. On the streets. There's hardly any people on the streets. Um, hito no kikakeru koto ga atta de mo. Even when I manage to see someone, seki ga. I'm、uh, guessing seki is like their daily living. Yes. That's their vitality. Seki, seki. The living ga. Kanji、uh, rare ma sen. I cannot feel their. Cannot feel their seki. Their liveliness. Their liveliness. So they, they, they just kind of、um, scraping by. Dead. Hi. Don't be down. Hi. Cut it. Where the metal told you, Machi Ga, the town of Where the metal. Uh, she died. 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 Is ongoing.、Hi. So, in the process of what is it in the process of? That's basically the same as kuchi kakeru.、Uh, it isn't actually the word、um, crumbling. The d o d a i it's crumbling from the d o d a i the machi is. So, it's kuzure, right? Kuzu. Hi, kuzure. Kuzure. It's also a form of. Crumbling. Yeah, it's to collapse specifically versus kuchiru, which is to rot. Kuzureru. You know what Kuzureru. dodai means? Um, dodai, dodai, dodai. Some, something to do with. Like a pile of dirt, isn't it? It does have the kanji for dirt、um, in it, but dodai is your foundation, specifically like a physical foundation, not like the foundation of like your math that we use in English as a metaphor. It's like the foundation your house is built on, or in this case, the foundation the machi is built on.、Uh, this is used to being used metaphorically, though, of course, but、um, I'm just saying it's not the foundation of knowledge, it's the foundation of. Physical objects, even though it's a metaphor here. So, in other、mm. words, the foundation of the city is crumbling, or rather, the city is beginning to crumble from its foundations. See, so but it still、well, is a metaphor, nonetheless. Yeah.、Um, <laughs> so, do dai kara, do dai kara. So it's in the process of crumbling、mm-hmm. from its foundations. I k n o w t h i s It is the case. Right. So, Duchess, I am explaining to you, n o t h i s that the town of w e r e m e t o is crumbling from its foundation and it's, it's an ongoing thing. Um,、hey. uh, For a Taru sama, forest taru sama, wa sudani. Ma jutsushi tachi ni taisho o o meiji ni natta koto to omoi masga masga. Yoku gozonji no tori. Ma jutsushi to iu no wa munona yakaraga 
Okay. Amari Yatsuni Tatimasen. Yakuni Tatimasen. Yakuni Tatimasen. So now he's saying, uh, forest uh, Taru Sama Sudani. Uh, what does this mean? Oh, it's already too late. So too late, you'd have to add the word too late here. Sudani is already. Already. So, uh, Sama, dear Sama, you already, um, employed the, you know, you have already the magicians, Taisho, or you have already gave them the uh, I, I think that you have already come to give the command to uh, deal with the situation, to Taisho, right? To right, to deal with, hi. To who? Who were told to, who were told to deal with something? That is the Mario Machutsu Tachi Ni. They receive the Tai. Uh, they receive the Taisho O. Hi. The request for response. Uh or or Mejini Nata. That means that she gave the command already. Kototo omoimas is I believe that that is the case. Right. Um Yoku mean very or well. Gozonji no tori. So gozonji, it's like honorific for uh, shimaru. I know. Hi. I know that. In this case, since he said it's a honorific form, this is actually that the, he switched it from omoimas, which is him, I think, into you know. Gozonji no tori. As you very well know. Ah, uh, you already know. No tori is like the thing that you know, right? You already Basically, know that. It is ex it's the, exactly that what you know. The, what you know, exactly that. Yeah. Yoku, meaning you know well. Hi. You know, you know this well, Duchess, that the uh majutsu she told you Noah, you know, the so-called magicians or the magician that are being employed are Munona. They have no use. Yakara ga oku. Um, I'm guessing yakara ga. Yakara is um, that group of people. Hi. Those people. Those fellow. Those useless chap. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> are plenty. So, so. Ga oku. She's saying... Those useless guys, there are plenty. Yeah. Um, Specifically saying most of them are incompetent. And on top of that, amari yakuni tachimasen. Uh, amari is hardly, Hi. hardly at all an adjective or an adverb. Mm -hmm. Yakuni tachimasen, hardly of any use. Exactly. Perfect. They're not, they have almost no use at all. Perfect. Um, let's 